always know that. Hey. You got it roll, here we go. Hey. What's up you guys? So I am going to be showing you guys how to achieve this hairstyle on Gabby's hair. So I'm using the Afoji, entire Afoji line. This um, hair moisturizer by um, Cream of Nature, Camille Rose, Leave-In, and a heat protectant. So her hair is freshly washed uh, and shampoo and conditioned. I use the Dove Hydration. Uh, to do this this part I'm pretty much going to just speed it up because it's pretty simple I'm just adding the products to her hair once I add it to her hair then we are going to go ahead and blow dry now to blow dry it I'm going to part it off in four sections and completely detangle and then I'm going to go into the blow drying process so right now everything is pretty simple and self-explanatory now to blow dryer hair, I'm pulling her hair taut and I'm going back and forth with the blow dryer. Once I get it pretty much straightened, then I am going to go in with my paddle brush and then let the paddle brush do all the work to get her hair dry. I do not need her hair to be bone straight because we are going to be braiding it down. I just need it straight and dry enough to where I can get through it pretty easily. I want you just as bad as you want me. You already talking with the end of the day In the back of my mind fantasize about you and me Baby, can you give me just a little bit More of what I've been missing We got time to act this You don't know what you do So Gabby is not a fan of the blow dryer whatsoever She hates the noise, hates the heat she complains the whole time but this is her hair completely dry we were trying to get a thumbnail um so that's what this part is but this is all of her hair i do need to straighten it but i guess once i take the style down i'm going to straighten it and trim it just to make sure her hair is in good health um so far it does seem like it is everything is pretty moisturized and it seems well balanced so now i'm just going to go into adding more product um, more moisturizer because her hair is going to be up for a while in this protective style and then we're going to go into the braiding phase now i am using connect line braiding hair to add that additional support if you guys want to know what braiding what braid patterning i'm using um i'll leave a card somewhere right about now so click that card and it'll give you full details to the braid pattern that i'm doing right now I'm not waste my time Jumping all the way in too deep I hope you're not missing these signs Cause I wanna keep you close to me Baby, can you give me just a little bit More of what I've been missing We got time to act now that I'm pretty much done with the braid pattern, I'm going to go ahead and spray her hair with some moisturizer. And I'm using my Silk Elements moisturizer mixed with water. And I'm also going to oil her scalp using um, a different varieties of oils. I'll leave a card um, showing what I use to make that as well. But for the crochet hair, I'm using Freetress Beach 12 um, Beach wave in 12 inches i'm using ot30 and i'm using just the number two so the number two is her general all over color and then the ot30 is just going to be a couple of highlights 
you know, here and there throughout. So I'm doing the standard crochet braid pattern. If you guys don't know how to install my crochet braids, of course, I will leave the card posted somewhere or either check the description box. It'll be down there as well. Y'all make sure y'all following me, okay? Because I be giving y'all all the tea. Make sure y'all are following me. Follow me on here. Like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you have any questions. I do respond back. Don't forget to follow me on IG, TikTok, and all those other platforms at Brit Breast Styles. So now, this is the point I want y'all to see. So, for her hair in the center where, there, where the bangs are going to be, I am installing the crochet braids at an angle going up so that the hair can naturally fall in her face. So just pay attention to my placement on that part because that part is important because she wanted a bang. So you see how I'm going up with the needle and then I'm going to pull it down at the same angle. I'm doing just st still doing just the standard knot. Nothing special, spectacular, but when I'm in that front section, I am doing that angle to make sure the hair is falling to create that bang effect. Now that we're basically closing up the bang area, that center part, now we're going to get into teasing the hair. So I'm taking this razor comb and I'm just combing out a couple of pieces of hair to create some flyaways. And that's what's going to give that natural part effect. Again, I have done crochet braids many times on my channel. So if you need more of a close up and a detailed video, just click the cards at the top once this video is done playing. Or you can go to the description box and see See how I do that as well um, I'm pretty much doing all the same steps so once I create those flyaways I'm teasing it pulling it out I'm gonna tease it with my teasing comb and then we're gonna just pull it out and then it's gonna create that natural effect where you can't see the part just watch it'll make sense You just as bad as you want me You already talking with your energy In the back of my mind fantasize about you and me Baby, can you get me Okay, so now that I got this teasing to look where Or the part to be exactly where I want it I'm going to section off some small pieces Or a small section of hair in the front Make sure you're not grabbing too much hair Like now I have way too much hair in my head my hand her bang will be like too full where it'll look crazy so i'm just releasing some of that hair and i'm pulling the hair off in like a triangular motion and right now i'm pulling the hair taut i'm not pulling it too tight to where because curly hair shrinks okay so you want to make sure you are cutting it longer first and then when you let it go you'll see where it goes so you see how i'm pulling it going back and forth you want to pull the hair down a little bit. Remember, it's going to shrink once you let it go. And then you just want to determine the level at where you want to cut it. So for me, I'm pulling it down a little bit and I'm going to start right at her jawline, the bottom of her jaw, cutting down in a, at an angle motion. And that's what, as you can see, it just started to create those layers in her hair to make the hairstyle more flattering to give the bang effect. So now I see that it's still a little bit long. I'm gonna come up some right where the eye is, right under the eye, and just cut a little bit more bang. So you see how it's falling? So whatever you do on one side, you wanna do on the other. So I'm gonna part her hair on the other side of her head, pull off the same amount to create that triangle. Then you can grab a piece from the piece you already cut 
line that up with the new section let that be your guide and just follow the same motion cutting downward at an angle and when you grab one piece from the other section and pull it over that'll make sure everything is pretty even for you you're close to me And one thing I did notice in the Blue Ivy picture, her bangs were not uniform. The cut was not uniform at all. So I'm really not trying to get like that perfect bang or perfect cut, but I just want to create the bang so she still has the effect of the picture. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the sides because I want it to be age appropriate for her because Gabrielle is still 11. She is not older so I'm just going to cut off some of that hair you can do a blunt cut straight across or you can keep going up and down in that little zigzag motion like I did it doesn't matter um I didn't go straight across because I like the zigzag because it gives more of a a rough effect if you would say instead of just the blunt cut straight across I prefer this especially on curls i think it's more flattering and then i'm going to go in and just create some layers throughout the center pieces of our hair just pulling it and getting rid of some of the that weight that's in the hair but pretty much you guys this is the final look don't forget let me know if you have any questions um leave them down below i will answer them don't forget to follow me on tiktok ig facebook and all of that good stuff check the links below to get um access to any of my links and all of my affiliate codes and all of that good stuff and i will see you guys next time bye i hope you enjoy Oh yeah, put your pride to the side, never spy for ya.